Alrighty, folks, what is going on? Back again with some more vampire in a vampire match, and this hand is a vampire ass hand. Um, Domination should have been able to activate from hand, and it shouldn't have been once. I mean, it's, yeah, definitely. If it's definitely uh, activate from hand, it definitely should have been once per turn. Um, hmm. Spellbook of Secrets. Now, should I torrent? Wow. He must be playing Dark Conditions. Okay, well, figure that one out pretty quickly. Um, we're not going to respond to anything he does. Because when he goes into his battle phase, we're just going to activate that uh, young Froiloin. And F Fro I, I don't know how to pronounce it. You, you uh, It's Froiloin. It's, is it Fra is Fra Lin or something like that? Oh, that, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, please go into your battle phase. That... You have to go in your battle phase, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to say like you definitely have to go in your battle phase. Um, that don't don't like don't don't play around. Um, but yeah, um, Froilein, Froilein, I believe it's fr yeah, a, a Froilein something like wow. All right, so we'll just activate this, and we'll just activate this. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is a uh, yo. We got a good play. If this shit goes through, we got a great play. Watch this. Oh my god, watch this play, folks. End of damage step. Activate. Paying three thousand, right? Watch this, folks. Watch this. Watch how I do this. Please activate the trap. Ooh, solemn strike. That's fine because we have the young domination. Ooh, ooh we two thousand. We're gonna gain this young four. We're gonna gain four back. We're gonna gain four back. Then at the end of the battle phase, Froiloin's effects triggers, and we can special summon Rod. And then no, uh, and then what we can do is Monster Reborn, his spell pa Magicians of Prophecy. And if this is coded right, we're we're in the game. Yeah, we're in the fucking game. <laughs> we're in the fucking game here, folks. Nope, no need to do that. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Boy and get rid of this. We're I'm pretty sure I, I believe he just has another circle. So if I get rid of this, we're fine. But if I get rid of this, we're just extra fine. So yeah, there we go. And that's a good play. Um, and he's down to 45. Oh, spellbook of knowledge. Damn, that's pretty pretty fucking good, isn't it? Um, did he lose game one? That's that fast. That's pretty good. Um. You know what? I, we kind of, we probably should play in here, um, Wiseman Chalice. But I believe, yeah, we can't. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't have a circle, so I'm not really scared of too much of what you got. Um. Yeah, that's not a good place. Or uh, we'll activate this. Scry that. Um, if I kill this, he can chain this at resolution, I, or I can I can just take it for free. What should I do? Uh, let's kill this. So if I'm not mistaken, we can negate that with uh, magical expand. What happens? Um. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand what he was going for. Um, all right, so I guess we can just keep keep something in our hand, I guess. Oh, all right, so I believe we, we just have this one locked. We have this one locked and loaded. No, he top decked the magical magician illusion. Why did I say that? He, he, magician's illusion. Um, I believe he needs to activate. Why would you do that? You, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna. So you're at 26. So if I pay 23, I'll be at 29. I really thought he was at 2600 attack for some reason. I really did. Um, all right, so we can go to game two. All right, so he's playing. See, this is where Twin Twisters would have came in handy. So I think that Forbidden Chalice should be Twin Twisters. But 
I know what you guys are going to say. Why the hell are you siding Red Reboot? Listen, their whole deck is based off of Red Reboot. Um, if they resolve a Red Reboot, they're in the game. You can just get rid of two of those. Um, I don't think these matter because I'm not going first. Um, uh, okay, and I believe that's it. Yeah, um, I don't think... Yeah, I think these are... That's it. And the reason why I'm siding Red Reboot is because um, their whole deck is basically... You know to resolve circle but then flip their traps to do shit so if they're not able to do that then they kind of lose um well this is not the greatest of all hands but we'll start with oh no i don't want to start with this damn it um change the level i guess we can start with this yeah we'll start with this ash blossom is because you're a fab badge you're just a big fab badge that's what you are, young man. You're a fabbage. And I hope you understand that. I'll just go Link Karibo and attack for 300. Because I don't want to get rid of Vampire's Awake. It's too good of a card. It's too, too, too good of a card. Um, main phase 2. Uh, evenly should be in this deck. But since I don't have those currently in real life, then I'm not, I'm not going to cite it on here. Because, I mean, it's pretty pointless to... Uh, do that because I feel like if I do do that then it's false advertisement I guess and it's the reason why I don't play ashes because I don't own any I don't plan on oh damn it I hate this game I don't plan on buying any either so I just don't I mean I played ash once I should be able to negate this this game is terrible so be, I should be able to negate this, but they won't let me. They won't let me. They won't let me be great. They would not let me be great. Hmm. Oh, I wish that you can chain these effects. Let me see here. All right, so let's do this. We're going to special summon the Brood. Are we special summon Scargile? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then Scargile would trigger, giving me back Familiar. And then familiar to trigger, giving me brood. And then what we can do is go Tremor Phoenix with these two. Uh, we'll go Tremor Phoenix. And what I'm trying to do here, folks, is I'm just trying to bait out the back row. I'm just trying to see what he has, I'm trying to get over it, trying to get through it. Um, yes, I want to draw a card. There's a ghost dog. That's actually really good. Then we can use a uh, brood because we haven't used that this turn special summon brood Use the brood um, Yes, we get domination uh, We haven't normal summoned yet, right? You know, we haven't so we'll do this We'll activate solitaire special summon Mizuki um, No I should, yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it. Um, Sin Mizuki. Not, yeah, Sin Mizuki with this one. Um, because then we can do, we can do a, we can do a fantastic play here. Sadly, we're not going to be able to probably attack, but that's fine because we're just trying to gain. We're just trying to get somewhere. We're just trying to get some good places right now. There's a foolish barrel. That's actually really good. Um, yeah, all right. So we'll do this. We'll foolish barrel to the grace. And then what we'll do here is use Mizuki to get back Scarjale. Put Scarjale over there. Pay Young 2K to get back uh, Grace. And then with this, we'll just start sending spells from his deck to the graveyard. Um, yeah, we have two hand traps, so that's that's pretty good. He has a dark magic attack, but yeah, we're just gonna start sending spells. Then we can go Beatrice. Um, diffusion wave motion. That's 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 unique. Um, let's go Beatrice right here, and then with Beatrice, um, what we can do here is attach the Grace to send another Mizuki to the graveyard <laughs> because Mizuki is just the key to every zombie deck. Um, and then what we can do is go Unicorn. We can just switch that thing over there. Use Unicorn. Guard the union, spin that back to the deck. I don't know what's going on here. I most likely should be getting rid of this guy right there. But I have a ghost ogre in my hand, so that works out pretty fine for me. 
We're gonna activate this. We're gonna send some. Actually, we should be sending traps, but traps. I'll he'll send him just navigation to the grave. And he'll be able to negate some shit. I don't want to do that. So we're gonna just send all his spells to the graveyard, and then go vampire this guy. And then uh, yeah, we'll just be able to um do this. Ditch the grace. Send that to the graveyard. And there we go. We'll just hit him with the young 26. That's all we can do right now. Hit him with the young 26. Then main phase 2. We'll set the domination. And I believe that's pretty cool. We have two level 6s on the board. Um, there's no reason to do that. But we do have to hold A because situations happen. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. What does this do? Banish to add one spell in the trap. There's specifically uh, list um, Dark Magician from his deck to his hand, but I can just negate whatever he gets with, um, yeah, so I, I think I'll give him Circle. Yeah, I, I'll let him thin his deck out. I, I, I frankly don't care. Um, yeah, see, that's this is the reason why you let things like that go through. Um, ooh. One's a dark magic. Okay, he surrendered. All right, that was a, like, he knew one was dark magic attack, so I already knew he was bluffing. All right, so that was a very short match, but hey, man, that was the match, so can't really hate on that. Uh, so we what? We got rid of. He had four back row, and we got rid of three of them. We went Phoenix. We went Phoenix to got rid of one, and then we went Unicorn, and then we went uh, Sheridan, and got rid of basically three back row. That's that's it's pretty good. I, I believe that was really good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, that was Vampires with Summon Sorcerers. As you can see, Summon Sorcerers really boosts zombie decks. Really takes them over the edge. And um, yeah, it really makes the deck good. Uh, that, the, the only reason why I wasn't playing them before is because like I, I don't like really playing decks. That I don't, I'm not going to basically be able to. Uh, basically, I, I, that's why I don't play Needle Fiber. Because I understand Needle Fiber makes every deck just better. But the more I play with Needle Fiber, the more upset I'm going to get at my current deck, my turn TCG deck, because I wouldn't be able to uh, basically replicate the success of that. And Summer Sorcerer, since it's going to be legal in, I believe, three weeks, um, this is something that's about to come out. This is something that's getting ready to come out. Just like when Sucker was barely about to come out, I was playing with that so I can get used to it. So when Sucker came out, I know what I'm doing. I got all my plays pat down and stuff like that. So, yeah, Summer Sorcerer is um coming out or being legal in a couple of weeks so like i said from now on we're just going to be playing with summer sorcerers in the deck and um yeah we'll just uh go from there but anyways thank you guys for watching and uh you probably see something tomorrow i don't know when i'm gonna upload this because this could either be wednesdays it could be tuesdays wednesdays thursday video i don't know right now um I believe uh, I'm waiting on a deck list, like because uh, some uh, subscribers sent the deck list. I believe uh, like a week or two ago, and um, I, I totally forgot about it. That's completely my fault. And um, I, I finally got around to it, but then six cards didn't come in. So I, you know, I messaged them, and we'll see. Um, hopefully, I'm able to uh, be able to play that deck because I believe it's a hyperlink deck. So. Um, that should be fun and besides that I believe that's it maybe Saturday you might get a video don't know right now um, and yeah that's it for today so thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy that match even though it was fairly short um, if you guys haven't already go ahead and subscribe and if you guys want to help the channel out the donation links are down in the description below besides that that is it for today hope you guys did enjoy yourselves I will see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday or something I don't know when I'm uploading this but you guys know the schedule